Hey guys, Brian Market Alliance back for another Disc Golf Examiner disc review. Today we have a special disc from Axiom. It's the Crave. Mark, this is your disc. This is one that you love. What does the Crave fly like? The Crave is your reliable mid-range that flies like a nine-speed. It has incredible glide, a touch of a touch of flip, and is incredibly controllable. It replaced a couple slots in my bag and filled that Heiser flip controlled shot in the woods or that flat to turnover that's going to ride it, ride that Anheuser all the way to the ground disc. I'm loving this Neutron Plastic with the Crave. And what about you, Elias? This isn't one that you normally throw, is it? Is this? Did you like it? Um, I don't normally throw anything other than cast plastic, but this Crave flew very nice and turned flat. It just went very straight with a little turn, good finish. Heiser flipped up nice. Anheuser, it just held it the entire way. It seemed like it had lots of glide and wanted to stay up in the air. We'll show you how we got to this conclusion. We'll start it off by going to profile. The Axiom Crave is really unique to me. The rim fills your hand nicely, and it does have, if you look at the side profile, a slightly pointed edge to it. And you can see that Axiom has this Neutron plastic, which it actually incorporates two different types of plastics. The outer rim's a little more grippy. Axiom also claims that with this gyro technology, uh, it helps the disc fly the way that it does and why it's so unique. So. Uh, definitely a cool feature built into the disc. On that throw, the Crave was, I threw it a little nose up, on a slight hyzer, still flipped the flat and pushed forward for a decent little bit before finishing to the left. On a little bit of hyzer into this headwind, I was able to get about 300 feet on this Crave. When you throw the Crave on hyzer, with a little nose up, it flips up to flat and holds it all the way until it fully runs out of speed before it hyzers out softly. Into this slight headwind, the Crave ended up going about 350 feet. When I threw the Crave flat, with a little bit of power, it just went dead straight with a slight turn. It went about 350 feet. When you throw the Crave flat into the slight crossy headwind, it's gonna turn over and hold it hold a very soft Anheuser all the way to the ground. We have that Crave measured at about 360 feet. When I threw the Crave on an Anheuser, it had zero fight and just held the Anheuser the entire flight. It went about 280 feet. When you throw the Crave Anheuser, it's gonna turn, set itself on a nice angle and hold that angle all the way to the ground. As you can see, these throws have all been into a headwind with a little bit of nose up, so you can expect a little bit more turn if you're to get the disc a little more nose down. We had that Anheuser measured at about 370 feet. And that's how we threw the Axiom Crave in the Neutron Plastic. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I personally thought that this was a great disc for myself. I would definitely bag one of these. I think it's a great fairway driver, and I, you know, for somebody with a lower arm speed like myself, definitely, definitely check out the Crave, especially with beginners. Absolutely, uh, like, like Brian said, if you're a newer player, this is going to be a reliable workhorse driver that you're going to be able to learn to control your angles with. If you're a player with more power and more experience, you're going to be able to play with all kinds of angle control from nose down to nose up, hyzer through anhyzer, to get a ton of different flights out of this disc. And it's surprisingly versatile and will hold up in the wind better than you'd expect for, for a disc that flips as much as, it's, as you'll see on camera. Um, I'd like to thank Gerald, Hain Gerald Haynes, a member of the Pittsburgh Flying Disc Board, for giving me this disc a couple weeks ago. I gave it a shot, and within a couple throws, it had instantly earned a spot in my bag. So it's going to be a trust trustworthy workhorse disc for the long-term future for me. Yeah, our grassroots director, thanks so much. And that's going to do it for our review. If you have any comments, questions, whatever, leave them in the comments section. Remember to share the video. You always appreciate it whenever you do that. And until next time, keep, keep banging, banging those chains. chains.